number one rated business show letting everybody out there know you can now catch us on mondays wednesdays and fridays from three to four make sure you tune in dial the real 1100 a.m hey folks just a quick reminder that no matter the time of the day and no matter what day of the week east coast west coast all points in between we are always on so go to your app store and download the real 1100 app and listen wherever and whenever the real 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 The following program is paid for by Influencer 365. The views expressed do not necessarily reflect the views of this station, its management, or the Beasley Media Group. I got a little color on that one. <laughs> we right back. Right here on the Real 1100 AM. It is your host, KC Pride, and our brand new co host, the real deal, Jeff Field, Mr. Marketology, in the house today. What's up, Pride? Uh, man, we do, we, gonna, we got a big show. I got a big star, and we're going to have a whole lot of fun today. But just to get some announcements out of the way, just so we can get started just the right way, because I just saw my barber today, so I got to do it. <laughs> but everybody out there in the Douglasville area, I want everybody to go over to Studio 1211. They're located right there at 6405 Fairburn Road. I want you to call and schedule your appointment at 770-485-6772. Tell them KC Pride sent you, and he will give you a free cut on the real 1100 AM. He, he don't like it when I say that. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I say that, he look funny. Like, uh, mm. For everybody out there in the Smyrna area, we are coming up on a brand new year, and I know everybody want to get their sexy on, so you can be way too sexy like KC Pratt. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got to agree. That's all right. <laughs> but I want y'all to go visit my good friends over at Titans Fitness. They are located right there at 1834 South Cobb Industrial Boulevard, Southeast Smyrna, Georgia, 30082. Uh, you can visit them online at Titans.net. You can also go in and ask to be trained uh, by the one and only Rachel Stucker, world champion. Uh, she is in charge of Impact Fitness, and she will give you a free training on me. Hey, Rachel. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then also uh, uh, a brand new se- segment, because I think when you get great service at a business, you know what I'm saying? We need to start supporting each other and, and, and doing some shout outs. So I know Jeff, he was just raving about this. This, this shop that he uh, just came from. So I want you to tell everybody about the shop and give them some free promotion today. No just doubt. for the day. No doubt. Hey, Styles and Profiles, they down in the Riverdale area, right in the McElroy Shopping Center on SR85. My man Eddie hooked me up. I mean, there was a, a, a problem with my BMW. They were talking about thousands of dollars. He looked under the hood, plugged it up. It was just something was unplugged. Cost me nothing. Bruh. He looked for a out BMW? For a BMW. Man. He looked out. But I go to him for everything, though. I mean, everything from oil change to <laughs> anything. Everything. Dude, I went over to Nally. I, I ain't going to lie. I went over to Nally BMW, right? Seriously, I went over there and got the car service or whatever. They did a nice little oil change. They washed it for me, and then they brought the car back to me. It looked so nice. It was so pretty. Twenty five hundred. Oh, no, no. That, that, Twenty five hundred. But they, they used a the good wax. Oh, you know, I mean, and, but, I saw some dirt on my rims. I got to be honest. With you. But, but I mean, he looked out. And that, the reason I like Styles and Profiles is Eddie is is honest, very okay. honest. And like I said, he he just looked under it. He said, hey, this isn't plugged up, plugged it up. And when I say nothing, I'm not talking about like full of, full of nothing. But, All right. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't hundreds of dollars and thousands okay. of dollars. He, I pay for good service now. Yeah, he looked out. I ain't out. got no problem with it. So last night we had a great uh once again sold out master class yeah uh where we start talking about what we need to be doing uh in 2022 for your business and all this type of thing uh it, it, it's, it's you were looking sleepy though uh, bro i'm sleeping now i'm tired <laughs> i'm running like three businesses like actively it ain't even like you know how i'm like i got five businesses but i only work on one yeah no do i'm like actively i'm in a print shop all day i'm doing meetings i'm, I'm it's it's i'm crazy right now but we're gonna sell it down and <laughs> no doubt but you know, one of the biggest things though with this with these master classes and listening to a lot of these business owners, you know, it's a whole bigger thing nowadays versus just how do I get my business out there? 
how do I, you know, just get myself out there? But people are starting to wonder, how, how do we succeed? You know, yeah. I'm out there. I'm doing my thing. But how do I keep going? Yeah. And, you know, it's so funny. I found when I was out there looking, going into this period of my life myself, you know, it was like I found all this help about how you get started. Mm. Don't nobody tell you how mm. to keep going. Right. Don't nobody tell you how to finish. Okay. How many I ain't times heard finish yet. I'm going to tell y'all. Bit better because at least you get to go home you don't yeah. care as much yeah. and you get a day off i'm just saying <laughs> uh also I, I i think we got a caller uh calling in uh joining us into the conversation we got uh is, is that the coach of all coaches yeah that's me <laughs> you know i tell you what you talk about that nine to five but you could come in tomorrow and your swipe card don't work you can't get in the joke hey, amen <laughs> okay <laughs> All right. So the thing about a nine to five, yeah, you get consistent pay, but you don't know if you're gonna get it every day. That's the truth, Mark. Let, let, let me right. do this right. Joining joining uh to the program right now, ladies and gentlemen, for those that don't know, he is the coach's coach. He is my coach and what helped me become the rock star. Uh the one and only Mark Parham. Hey. <laughs> How you doing today, brother? Uh, doing good, man. Just following on what you said people get out there but they don't know how to stay out there they get their little five minutes of pain but you're building a program that keeps them out there it, you know it, it ain't just me y'all on me <laughs> <laughs> but you got to be the uh, face of it you the one with the fresh haircut hey yeah uh, yeah but bar, I'm, I'm just talking about <laughs> our program our master class teaches people not only how to get out there but how to stay out there and be relevant oh yeah you know and I think that's what people are missing. They get, you know, they put out a social media post and they get some likes and stuff. They feel like they've done something. But, you know, the other important the other important part of it, and, and Jeff had to make mention of this to me, we actually doing it. You ain't learning from folks. You ain't learning from right. folks that, hey, I did something one time or whatever. No, you see us actively yeah. doing this stuff every single day. So yep. you learning from right. folks that's actually out here. We testing the market so we know what works. We know what ain't going to work, you know? Yep. Right. For years. Right. Doing it for so years I just too. think it's great, man. You know, it's, and what makes it so great is that we make it easy for them. Oh, yeah. You know, and a lot of times they talk to people and they, they, people get all technical with them and kind of go over their heads. But we make we break it down. And oh, yeah. I think that's what great. And we break it down in a short amount of time. Oh, yeah. That's what I really like about it. Because when you really get to the essence of what's going on, it is a very, very simple point of what we're trying to get across. All the rest of this stuff is just tactics. I can tell you about Facebook right. ads and Facebook pages, analytics, and all this other type of stuff, mm -hmm. but it ain't gonna help you grow your business. Yeah. Is that gonna help me grow my business? It'll you help see you what I'm grow saying? Facebook business, though. Exactly. You gonna help Facebook ball, mm -hmm. but is you gonna ball? Yeah. Are you gonna get a customer right. from it? Right. So, so it, I it just is, think that we got some stuff coming up next year, boy. That's gonna be outstanding. We're gonna blow people away. Man, we got some uh, the, the the whole mindset trying to know getting people back into the right mindset when you own a business. Right. What is my business about? Yeah. Let me stop looking right. at Jeff business. Let me stop looking at Nella Joy business. Let me stop looking at Miracle business. What is my business about? Mm -hmm. What am right. I doing and what do I need to do to do it better? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, really what it comes down to is processes make profit. I mean, if you got proper processes in place, you're going to make some profit. Oh, yeah. Right. You know, people look right. for that, that magic pill, though, you know, and, and, and that doesn't exist in business. Unless you got a rich daddy or something. That's a magic. <laughs> I hate second gens, though. I don't don't get me started on second gen. <laughs> if you ain't the first one to do it, no. But, but, but nah, you know man. what? Go ahead. I think that's really important, too, is that next year is going to be the first year a lot of businesses are going to be able to show up. Because oh, yeah. after this COVID thing, people are looking to use small businesses. And if you don't show up and show up right, you know, you, you're going to miss out. And, and, I, and I'm glad you said that. Show up right. Because yeah. right. I'm so sick and tired of all these folks coming up to me. And then you bring me your card. You got Gmails. You got your professional email taken yeah, care of. Yeah, yeah, your yeah. profiles ain't put together. You got 12 <laughs> different uh, profile pictures. You got this business on this one. You got this business. I'm like, bro, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? Right. And I and I yeah. can talk about it because folks, you say that about me. It's like, this dude is all over the place. What is he doing? But, that, but that's that segment that you about to bring out in 2022, that branded with pride. Woo! You know what I'm talking about? Brandon it's, with pride. Man, don't, don't tell me about it, is it? <laughs> <laughs> they ain't ready for it because we have got to stop listening to marketing. Yeah. Because that's what you're listening right. to. It's not advice. It's marketing. 
if I'm sitting here telling you that, oh my God, you want to run Facebook ads, this is going to be the greatest thing, but I work for Facebook, you why do? in the hell do you believe e me? Exactly. That's what I, I love that. And they don't work for you. I love that. And they be like, well, you know, this person said they should do this. And that's like, what do they do for a living? Well, they run Facebook ads. Of course they're going to tell you that's what you should be doing. And then my favorite example is you run a chicken joint. And you trying to figure out, how can I sell more chicken wings? Mm -hmm. I know each box of chicken wings is going to make me $5. So how can I sell more of these? And you sitting up here listening to Gary Vaynerchuk talking about you need to make some more damn videos about making some damn chicken, and now everybody going to want your chicken. But, but, but wait a minute. But wait a minute. What the Casey, hell? Casey, wait a minute. But how, are you, selling, tired of how are you selling chicken now? Oh, that exactly. doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. I, I need to be doing this. I need to do what they doing. Look, you need to do what's working. You made 100000 doing, doing it your way. Yeah, keep doing what's working and elevate that. Man, it, it, it is going to be an awesome 2022. And I'm telling folks now, everybody, get prepared for war. Like, seriously, because this is what's going to end up happening. Everybody feel the same way I do. Everybody feel the energy. Everybody loaded with money. I hope y'all loaded with money. Because uh, if you ain't been saving your money over this pandemic. So everybody got money. And these businesses are ready to come back like crazy. And folks are ready to shop. So I'm telling you, next year, watch That's the commercials. Right. Watch right. the TVs. Watch the ads. It is going to be insane. And if you ain't ready, you ain't going to make it. And it's going to be uh, highly competitive, too. Because oh, yeah. a lot of people aren't going back to work, which means they're starting their own business. Which means they're increasing the comp competition. So it's going to be highly competitive. Oh, yeah. And, and, and I'm going to tell you, the time of the fake gurus is gone. We don't want to hear it no more. We don't want to hear the fakes. Right. We don't want to hear the phony. Right. We don't want your bad advice. We don't want to sit here with the free coach that says it. Let me tell you something. Free mean you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> if somebody tell you come to my free event, hey, if it ain't for charity, <laughs> I wouldn't go there expecting to get a lot of business advice. Because what's going to end right. up happening is this. I'm going to give you an idea. I'm going to show you a problem, and I'm going to sell you a solution. Am mm, I right? Mm, mm, the game is to be sold. Not told, bro. Mm. You got to pay for it. I'm saying, but you have to think about it like this. What we're going to give you, you're going to profit. Yeah. If you listen, you follow, I promise you, you will profit. It's a cash machine, bro. Yeah, yeah. And, I, I, you know, I have to disagree with you about the free. There's a lot of good free stuff out there. but the I can't no more. I didn't see folks abuse it so but, much. But, 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 but here's the thing, though. <laughs> They're not going to give you everything free. You're going to miss a lot of steps. And what you pay for is the fast track. You don't pay for the information. You can't Google the information. You pay for the fast track. Sorry, my Google just popped in. <laughs> but, you know, you paying for that Let me fast try to listen to Google. I know. Yeah, that's another whole nother show. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to talk right. about that, too. How you can automatically get in the mind of your customer. And Woo! they think that it's like magic, but it's all marketing. Man, 2022 is going to be so hot. I don't know. I don't, Mark, you ready for the ride? I'm ready, baby. I'm ready. Private jets. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah dude, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And then to, to, to top it all off, at the end of the year next year is the, is the first ever Rockstar Retreat. We're taking five of our top people, our, our special folks. We private jet all the way to South Beach, and we're going to do business. We're going to have fun. We're going to fish. We're going to do business. We got a whole bunch of folks that's going to come in and teach all kind of classes. So we're going to have an amazing time this year. Yes, that's going to be fun. And I might have to get a private jet for myself. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm going to get me a Panama Joe shirt. <laughs> I, I, I'll print it for you. <laughs> Grant Cardone, he already teaches folks how to get that private jet, though. Have you oh, seen yeah. it? Oh, yeah. And then also, we will be starting our classes on uh, Clubhouse. There will be some short little brief things. Uh, and, and these will be some of those skill things and tactics that we talk about. And yeah. we'll be doing some short, uh, look, very, very small, maybe 30 minute, yeah. you know, workshop yeah. type style things uh, over on Clubhouse just to kind of start building that up for folks as well, too. Mark, what you got? Man, I just got that I'm on y'all team, baby. That's what I got. <laughs> you know, I, I just think we got so much stuff coming up. I'm going to be launching a site for people just to be part of, to learn how to write their business plan. Oh, yeah. And build their image build the business that you want to get funded because it's really now it's not about all that paperwork it's about how you look Woo! and that's what I, and so i got a site that i'm launching that's going to help people understand how to write business plans and kind of network with other business professionals called small business vita it'll be coming out people are going to be getting an email about it it's free to join free to take classes discounted coaching 
just all kind of stuff. So uh, now, now, get now, ready Mark, for it. Now, Mark, real, real quick, because I want you to speak to the importance of this, and I know a lot of times we push you off and make you make you coach all our coaches. But <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. one thing I really want you to speak to, because you are the business development guru, the importance of that business plan. Because I, I, I'm sick and tired of these folks coming to you with half-baked ideas and they ain't got nothing wrote down. They ain't even got a one-pager. So just, just for a few minutes, just tell people how important is it to have that business plan going into 2020. The importance is just like you have to have a script for a play or a script for TV, just to make sure you say the same thing every time and people know your story. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be long, but it has to be. Mm. Okay. So we've been teaching people how to write one page business plan, but the real idea is getting that idea out of your head and on the paper. Because as an entrepreneur, we got a lot of ideas. So every time I talk to you, unless you write it down, you're going to be coming up with something new. So if I'm a funder or an investor or a customer, and every time I talk to you, you're talking about something different, I'm going to be scared to spend my money with you. Mm, oh yeah. But if you got a business plan that I can look and see what you're talking about, now I'm with you. And see, that's that's another thing, and 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 I'm glad you uh, mentioned that about entrepreneurs, the shiny ball syndrome. Yeah. Because it's going to be easy in 2022. So if you ain't focused, and you ain't got that plan, and you don't stick to the plan that you start with, I promise you, you're going to be all over the place because every opportunity in the world going to present itself in 2022 for everybody. I'm making a yeah. prediction right now. Yeah. So having that business plan, like I said, I'm so glad that you just just lent just a few minutes to that because, like I said, it is so important. I, I got my stuff written down. I know exactly what I'm doing. I got the steps that's coming next. And then I'm also working on what I look like because we're going to also get into details this year, too. Because you got to get your details right. right. Yeah. Right. 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 It's, a, it's your map to success. Amen. Amen. Well, Mark, I know you're busy because I, I, I'm yeah, working man. on that city project too. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to let you get yeah. out of here, man. But I appreciate All you right. just spending a few minutes, man, and, and uh, calling into the and show I, for us, bro. I just want to say you guys sound great. Thanks, you sound Mark. Great. I, I ain't right. sound good by myself. Yeah, you sounded okay. Hey, you hey, sound all right. hey, what, what, sound, what, what, what's that commercial? Sound, I got the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I take that. I take that. You guys sound great together. Thanks, right. Mark. Well, uh, right. ladies and gentlemen, please stay tuned during the break. Coming up, I have got the world famous Miss Nella Joy in the house with me, and we're gonna spend the rest of the program with her talking about all the great things she's fixing to do for 2022. You are listening to the number one rated business show right here on the Real 1100 AM and iHeartRadio, checking in all over the world. I am KC Pride. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hi, this is Dr. Williams with Align for Life Wellness. I want to invite you to our new office at 1800 Jonesboro Road in Atlanta. Come in for a consultation, examination, therapy, and x-ray, all for just $100. What? Yes, $100. This offer expires soon, so call us to schedule at 404-383-1110 or find us on the web at www yourfinespine.com. If you want to be fine, take care of your spine. We're open late. And now, an important message from Steve Harvey. This pandemic isn't over yet. We got the vaccines. I got mine. You might have yours. But listen to this. Don't think just because you got the vaccine that you could just go crazy. Follow the current safety guidelines. I know the mask is hot. But you know what's hotter than these masks? Staying healthy. That's pretty fly, you ask me. Let's unite to prevent. For more information, visit unitetoprevent.org. The holidays are delivering us some things we don't need. Loneliness, financial worries, and stress. So give yourself a great gift. Better mental health. Be realistic with your time and money. Eat healthy and exercise. Create an emotional support team and stay in touch. It's okay to be sad this year, but if it's keeping you from enjoying what you do have, seek help. In a crisis, call 800-273-TALK or text TALK to 741-741. This station is part of the Beasley Best Community of Caring, Learn more at our website. Hey, folks, just a quick reminder that no matter the time of the day and no matter what day of the week, East Coast, West Coast, all points in between, we are always on. So go to your app store and download the Real 1100 app and listen wherever and whenever. The Real, Real, Real. This is Abdul Chestnut of AMG TV and XOD Network. 
I'm here getting it in with my man KC Pride, the host of the number one rated business show. And we are back right here on the Real 1100 AM iHeartRadio, taking in all over the world. In studio with me, she is a world famous singer. She known everywhere. Uh, and a hell of a PR person, <laughs> Miss Nella Joy. Yeah. How we doing today? I'm great. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing good. How you been? It's been a long time since we seen you. Yes, it's been a, it's been months. <laughs> I know you busy. That's how success do you. That's right. That's right. It's been great though. So tell me all this stuff you got going on, because I know the, the show Disability World is blowing up. Everybody is, is talking about it in the disability community. And then I'm starting to see you in all these other specials and all this other stuff. And I saw your name <laughs> performing somewhere else live. So tell us what you what you got going on. Well, you know, I'm West Indian, so we do a few things. <laughs> I got three jobs, man. Yes, three. More like 10, but OK. Um, yeah, the, the main thing that I do is I'm a Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Multicultural Communications Consultant. Wow. Yes. Wow, you need an acronym for that. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> but I specialize in the disability community. So okay. basically, I help companies understand how to reach and engage with the disability population. Wow. Um, that incorporates everything that we all do, marketing, public relations, you know, social media, all that stuff. But oh, yeah. really how to get from the grassroots and understand who the population is and how to connect and how to engage because, you know, and, and understand how to be uh, sensitive mm -hmm. <laughs> to no, who we are as a population. No, seriously, because you you really, really, really showed me that, you know, uh, it was, we always talk about underserved communities and this type of stuff, but we always forget about, there's a whole disability right. community Untapped. out here and nobody talking about. That's right. So. Yeah. And, you know, when they talk about DEI, they talk about mostly race and, mm -hmm. and you know, other, other communities, but the disability community is really never really involved so we want to yeah. help change that so that's what i do um mainly uh you you but <laughs> no you also really really brought to my heart you know the struggles of, of a parent dealing with a, a yeah. disabled child because you know you know just watching you care for your daughter and this type of stuff just the type of level of care that you have to always provide yeah, it, yeah. it's exhausting it is it is and you know, she's 33 years old now and um, this is a lifelong thing so yeah. as long as i have to take care of myself so i can be here for Amen. her because she needs me and so in so doing, um, you know, I have to also make sure that I'm happy and oh, yeah. music makes me happy. And so when I'm not doing my DEI PR thing, um, music is the other side of me. And that's where the Nella Joy comes in. Oh, yeah. And so that's my alter ego. That's, you know, um, that's a funkier. Yeah, I don't know. I, maybe Jeff, I don't <laughs> think Jeff was there, but she told up the top 25, bro. She, <laughs> oh, she yeah. had a hell of a performance, bro. Like, she yeah. tore it up. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I, I, um, I, I love opportunities like what we did with the top 25. And I'm looking forward to more of those type of opportunities in 2022. When I released my CD, Next Chapter, All right. at late 2019, was ready to really hit the road and do some things in 2020. And then everything stopped. Yeah, COVID, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so I said, I've got to do something to let people know that I am out here and that this is a whole other side of me. So I decided for my birthday, which is the end of the month, mm -hmm. December 30th, to put on a little show. Right. And so I am having um, a celebration where I will be performing at the Spice House Restaurant and Lounge on Panola Road. And I'm real excited about it. It's right. going to be, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a great event. I'm going to be singing some of my own songs. I'm going to be singing some of the songs of artists that i love like okay. phyllis hyman stuff and um who else um quite a few other people See a beautiful so, thing now. whitney houston people like that and so i'm excited about that opportunity and looking forward to having my friends come out and All have right. dinner and enjoy the wonderful no, caribbean some food some vi yeah. <laughs> the, the, you just have to come and buy food there's All no right. tickets I, 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 just come I'm, out and eat. <laughs> I'm coming to be the background singer. <laughs> <laughs> and just, I'm going you know, to be the hype man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And so, um, so yeah, all my friends are invited to come out and celebrate my birthday with me just before New Year's Eve. All right. <laughs> it's going to be a fun night. It's I'm coming. Fun, I'm yeah. telling you, I'm coming. I look forward to seeing you there. Now, I know you're coming to our party. I know oh, you're you coming come to the holiday extravaganza. Because I'm going to clap. I'm gonna let y'all know that. It's no, gonna I'm be a, awesome. I'm, I'm gonna be under control. I'm gonna put a suit on this time. <laughs> I ain't gonna walk in with a hood. But you, you give great events. Thank you I so much. Say. Thank you so much. I'm glad other folks saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you do, you do. I I mean the top 25. I look forward to that coming back. 
and the first one was so much fun. I mean, it was, oh, yeah. it was so many great people. It was wonderful. It was well, wonderful. everybody, I had a blast afterwards. Oh, I was geez. a nervous wreck the whole time and <laughs> everything. But no, it, it was a great night. And we are coming back uh, in February uh, to link to the cultural significance of Black History Month because Absolutely. it is such a culturally significant event to see those top 25 African Americans has contributed so much yeah. uh, to the city of Atlanta. Uh, I, I think it's just no better time to do it. Absolutely. Yeah. And we and we're looking forward to partnering with the uh, Legacy Center out in East Point this time. Uh, so we're gonna have a great time. Yeah. Jay Morrison and crew. Oh yeah. Jay it's and Ernestine. Yeah, shout outs to them. They're doing big things in the Absolutely. city. I'm Absolutely. I'm glad you know them because we're gonna ask for a hookup now. <laughs> 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 but uh also you you having a lot also you found some uh a lot of success on YouTube because you got one of your videos is starting to push up into the six six digits. My my MIA missing in action. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that was that was a surprise. All of a sudden, people were noticing um, that 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 video is out there. It's a it's a lyrical video, and oh, yeah. th that whole song is really she rapping a on call it. to act. No, I have a young man <laughs> rapping on it. I do a little bit mini rap. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a call to action to our community to not take the the, the sacrifices of our ancestors for granted, and oh, to yeah. get up and and you know do what we have to do, vote, and you know be. Um, the people that that we are created to be, we're awesome oh, yeah. and we, we're talented and we are smart and we just need to put some things in action and not depend on other people to do it for us. Oh yeah, yeah. And so that's what that song "Missing in Action" is about. And so it's a lyrical video that has attracted a little bit of attention. I, I don't know how uh, thirty or forty thousand people have so far. Hey, you know, you, that's you pretty moving cool. some numbers. <laughs> so, so, it, 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 it climb every week. She's trying to be modest, <laughs> but it start climbing up. She's gonna call me talking about Kevin. This ain't moving by thousands. What's wrong? <laughs> What you mean? What's wrong? Both into your music. What you talking about? Rock with them. I know it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I'm looking for all of my other things to start doing the same thing. My, uh, can you handle this song, which is also going to be sung okay. on, um, on my birthday. Now, but now tell so us a little great... bit about can you handle this? Well, what... can you handle this? Was a, um, it's a song that I wrote about you know being an independent, uh, person who uh you know is in a relationship, but can the guy really handle? The the independent go after go after it and make it happen person Sound that I personal, am. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sound personal don't. You know, don't. I'm just saying, and um, you know, that's the kind of person I'm looking for. They can't handle it. The person who has their own dreams and making things happen for themselves and not putting their own dream on the shelf. Okay. And um not the guy sitting on the couch eating cookies. Can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> Wait on you come home, no, get fatter. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> then they're done that, got the t shirt. <laughs> No, that's right. <laughs> well, I need one of your t-shirts, but no, I need another <laughs> Joy t-shirt. <laughs> I'm going to let you get one of these, too, now. <laughs> I, need one of those too. I like what it has to say. <laughs> what was it? Pride? What was it oh, yeah. stands for? Pride, resilience. Industry. Power, resilience, intelligence, determination, and energy. energy. Sounds that's, good to me. That's what's been supporting me in my entire life. So Sounds good to me. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, thank God. I'm thankful for my energy. Okay. Um, I'm thankful for just being able to do all the things that I have been able to do and looking forward to an amazing 2022. It's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. There's so many great things getting made to happen. Now, now, tell us some of the other tracks that you're going to be releasing on this album. Who? Um, well, there's a song called, well, Just Do It has been out for a while that deals with okay. the issue of procrastination. Um, there's a song called Reality, mm -hmm. um, another relationship song. I love love songs. I'm I'm a romantic. Okay. By, by trade. Is that right? Me so, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I write a lot of love songs. And, um, you know, I'm I'm thinking about you know, possibly starting another CD at, okay. at some point. And um, when it's in, you, you can't stop. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. It, it, it really, ain't a career. It ain't work. It, it's, yeah. it's what I got to do. It's fun. Oh, it's yeah. fun. And it's, it's it's something that I am passionate about. So, you know, after having done the first one, I was like, I didn't think I could do it again. But it's okay. like, okay, yes, I can. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of music in me. You know, there's a song, I got the music in me. And so, it. yeah. And I'm excited about being a part of, you know, organizations like um, Show Ability, which okay. is up on the board of that organization and they are working to help um, performing artists with disabilities get opportunities to perform and to okay. shine, wow. you know, give their own light on TV. My oh, yeah. daughter got a chance to be, um, participate as a, an extra on an NBC TV show that's going to wow. air in, in um, January. I'm very oh, excited wow. about that. Wow. Yeah. So things like that, you know, and helping families like mine mm -hmm. enhance the quality of life for their, individuals for their loved ones with disabilities and and the caregivers who have to deal with taking care of them every day that's what i live for i mean i want to make sure that they have the best lives possible and but it, it, explain to folks just just for a second if you can you know because a lot of folks hadn't seen it up close like i have and, and spend as much time with you as i have 
So, but explain to her, what is it really like, you know, just full care for another individual all the time. And we all, anybody got kids, no. It ain't always easy to deal with another person, period. But you got to deal with somebody else like this. Like, what is that like for you? It's what I do. I mean, you know, she's total, total care. So the only thing she can really do for herself is feed herself. Wow. I have to do everything else. And so I have to plan her life. And my goal was to have her have the best life possible. And, you know, so all her doctor appointments, you know, I give her a choice of clothes to wear, but, you know, I put on the clothes, Um, you know, toileting, everything, bathing, everything is what I do. And so um, I'm very thankful because she's not medically fragile. She is healthy. And so, and as I age, I have to now make sure I take care of myself even more so that I can be here to continue to take care of her because I don't like some of the, some of the options that are out here. I, you know, as a journalist, and I'm always checking things about the disability community and some of the services. And I, you know, there was a story in the, in, on um, TV the other day about a young man who was in a home and who was basically starved to death. Okay. And he could not take care of himself. So they were not taking, and obviously his family wasn't really checking in either. I don't know the whole story, but the fact that that boy, that young man was being starved to death and nobody was checking, that that just makes me insane. Especially when angry. your loved one can't communicate. And exactly. some of the folks in some of the places, they be mean. There's a lot folks. of that going yeah. on. And there's much of that, you know, falling through the cracks. And so I'm hoping that, you know, through the work that I do, help them shed some light on some of the things that need to be shed light on. That's what we do with disability um disability world tv and the disabled lives matter podcast that i'm also a co-host on so it's just really sharing information that needs to be shared about this community all the wonderful great things that people with individuals with disabilities are doing Mm -hmm. as well as some of the issues that need to be addressed and so that's part of what of everything that i do um generating awareness about the disability community is a is a component of that now now you said uh you know thank god that your child is not medically fragile Mm -hmm. now explain what 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 layer does that add to it when the child does have medical issues that's on whole, top of this total yeah, care? That's a whole, a lot of my friends have children that they have you to had be to in give the hospital. careers and all kinds of oh, stuff. Absolutely. I, I backed out of everything for a couple of, quite a few years, over 10 years. Um, mm-hmm. You know, because public relations, when you're in corporate America, it's, it's, it's high paced. You got to move quickly. You got to travel a lot. Um, and I couldn't do that and take care of her at the same time. Mm-hmm. And so I had to back up and that was a sacrifice. And it wasn't until she get, you know graduated from high school that I said, okay, I can try to see what I can, and she was 22 at the time when she graduated wow. from high school. Mm-hmm. You know, I can see what I can do now with what I wanted to do. And so my goal also was to help mothers like myself um, to not give up on their own dreams because we had our own dreams too. And so mm-hmm. to make sure that they see that you can do both. It is, oh, yeah. it is a juggling act. And it you is, do but have you to do it well. I, I promise you, you have you to take care well. of yourself. Thank you. But you know, if you believe, like you say, believe in yourself, believe oh, yeah. in your own talent, your own gifts and your own skills. And um and you, I want the best for my child. Just like any other parent, I want mm-hmm. her to to experience all the things that the wonderful thing life has to offer. And so, in order for her to do that, I have to do that for myself. Oh, and yeah. so, I'm trying to make sure I have the best life possible, so my child can have the best life possible. That's true, though. Yeah. Because I, I I tell folks all the time, a whole bunch of broke folk can't help nobody. Uh, we all gonna be broke. It. That's a hard. Can't lesson. do it. Somebody gotta go get it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> and and this West Indian is going after me. I'm, just saying. <laughs> you know, I, I'm a West Indian and I'm a Capricorn. Oh, you know it. I'm going after you. <laughs> I knew this about me and her, her guy. I'm, uh, I show up as a Capricorn. Like, in my soul, when I show you the NATO tires, yeah. I done got deeper to astrology. I, I, I'm talking, I can get in. Okay. Like, for real. So, but no. No, I'm glad that you started to bring light to that because a lot of folks, they don't understand. And a lot of times when you don't really put it out there and you don't really, really tell folks, they don't get that visual in their mind. And and that's what I see really changes folks. Yeah. Because we take for granted. You know what I'm saying? My child got asthma and allergies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we take for granted, you know, every now and then she gets cold or whatever. But when you got that just constant, constant, constant. And then on the other side, you know, you got a lot of folks in this age having to take care of their parents in the same exactly. manner. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Exactly. And I'm a baby boomer. So it's, I'm, I mean, I'm no spring chicken, <laughs> but I don't look at this. Yes, you Jesus. are. No, you do not. <laughs> but the They're point West is, that's right. <laughs> I've got good genes. Oh, <laughs> uh, but the point is that you do, you have to, you have to cover every base. You have to think for them. You have to be them and make sure that any, anyone who is taking care of them has been vetted. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. you can't just leave them with anybody. It's, it's, a, it's a process. And no matter how old they get, especially if they're not, intellectually capable and my daughter is intellectually 
um, disabled. That's just the reality. She was born with cerebral palsy. Okay. And, um, you know, she doesn't, she could say a few words, but she really doesn't talk. Now, she has great comprehension, okay. but, you know, she can communicate. communicate. Yeah, she can't yeah. communicate through words. Um, you could use little, you know, devices and things like that yeah. here and there. But the mm -hmm. point is that, you know, that's uh, she depends on me <laughs> and the people who my my network and that having that network that tribe of people the, the caregivers the family whoever oh, yeah. it is that and not all family can handle it not all family that's can true. handle dealing with changing a, an adult person's diaper i mean oh, yeah. that's mm -hmm. about that's reality and so um you know but you do the best you can i thank god for the strength that he's given me Amen. i thank god for the people that he has surrounded me with and i have a, it's a very small crew of people but i can depend on them and, um, you know, my goal, again, is to help other families to maximize the potential of their loved one with intellectual or um, physical disabilities, whatever that potential might be, mm -hmm. and help the families to maximize their relationships and, and their um, whatever resources that they may need. Um, because there's, there's so many organizations out there, but there's still families that are falling through the cracks. And we're not even getting into the mental um, challenges that it sometimes brings. Um, for the caregivers. So there's so many different layers. But again, my goal is to um, help us all to n navigate that successfully through the oh, work yeah. that I do. Now, now tell me this, because you have been, I ain't going to say how long, but you have <laughs> been working on this for, for quite a while. Have you seen positive changes now that we are, are, are here in 2021 or, or moving into 2022? Well, do you see some, any positive yes, changes there's some, But there's still so much that needs to be done. I mean, yeah, the ADA was 30 years ago when they put together those laws, but there's still so many places that are doing the basic things with regards to accessibility. So okay. that needs to be addressed. There's so many You know, there's that something I, that, that we don't talk about no more, like yeah. wheelchair yeah. ramps and, yeah. and yeah. handicapped yeah. parking and this but type of stuff. But you'd be surprised how many places you could walk into yeah. that, you know, you they may have a ramp, but they don't have a bathroom. Okay. That you know the bathroom is upstairs and there's no elevator. Wow. You know, so there's a, there's a lot of that going on. Hotels, or some hotels that you you'd be surprised. Wow. Um, not quite ready for the prime time. You know, it's a shame you make a bigger fight in this country out of what bathroom a man or a woman gonna walk yeah. into yeah. than whether or not somebody that's disabled got the ability to yeah. be able to use the bathroom with some type of dignity. One of the things that up. that we deal with, those of us who have children who are not independent, they can't walk. You know, when you have to go to the bathroom when you're traveling and you're at the airport. Some of us have to put our children on the floor. There's no wow. place to put them wow. to, to change them when they're when they're no longer babies. You know, yeah. it's it's crazy. I'm telling my age, but when uh when I first had my girls, you know, being a father, mm -hmm. it's it's a serious predicament. Yeah. Like you gotta go to the bathroom and oh, it ain't yeah. nowhere to take this little girl. Exactly. And I got to hold her and it's yeah. a, it ain't cool. I, I remember right. those yeah. like use the bathroom before we get on the road. Right. <laughs> and like I don't have to go. No, you have to because I can't stop. I'm gonna tell you what's worse somewhere. when it's just you and her and no, you gotta go. That's what I'm, I'm I'm like, bro, I just, just, just going to have to man up. You just got to man up and hold it. I had yeah. some four hours since. Like, oh, my God. Man up yeah. and hold it. Yeah, it, it's something else. And so the point is is to, to, to find ways to change, make things, make people aware of the changes that need to be done, especially in accessibility areas. And that's, oh, yeah. that's what we were trying to focus on through the organization that I'm on the board of, Showability, um, and then, you know, some of the other organizations that I'm a part of. But um, it's all about advocacy. It's all about, you know, just making some things happen that need to happen. And and you have to fight. Oh, yeah. It just doesn't happen. You just have to continue to fight. We will be uh, back after this right here on the Real 1100 AM and iHeartRadio. I am KC Pride with co-host Jeff Beal and Miss Nella Joy sitting in studio with us today. We'll be right back after this. At Align for Life, we work with attorneys across the entire metro area. We are a portal of entry provider, meaning we can ensure your client is triaged accordingly and coordinate all aspects of your client's chiropractic and medical care from start to finish, including referrals to medical doctors, specialists, and imaging. This is Dr. Fowler. Your injury clients deserve the best transportation, extended hours, and compliance monitoring. We understand your needs. Refer your injury and accident victims right now by calling us at 404-383-1110 or visit us at yourfinespine.com. Transportation is provided via Uber and we are open late so your clients can come in after work. Auto accidents, wellness care, slip and fall. We take care of it all. 
So, what's the asking price on this house? Uh, you'd probably be more comfortable living somewhere else. How long is the lease? Sure, you can afford to live here, but... How are the schools? We have twins. This neighborhood probably wouldn't be right for your kids. If a real estate or rental agent says anything like this, you are being discriminated against, and it is illegal. If you experience housing discrimination, go to hud.gov slash fair housing and report it. Fair housing. The law is on your side. A message from HUD in partnership with the National Fair Housing Alliance. Have you been looking for a radio station that gives you sports? I don't believe it! It's a touchdown! Entertainment? Are you not entertained? And other special interest talk shows? Well, isn't that special? All on one app? Yeah, that's dope. What app is that? It's the real 1100 AM app for WWE. Grab it for free in your Google Play or Apple App Store today. Hey, y'all, it's Paris Fit, and I'm rocking with KC Pride, the host of the number one rated business show. And we are back right on the number one rated business show. I'm your host, KC Pride, along with the real deal, Jeff Bill, Mr. Marketology. In the house. I can't do all them syllables. There's two men. I'm from Alabama. I know. I know. <laughs> We gotta keep it simple. Uh, still in studio with us, Miss Nella Joy, also known as Nora you don't get the clap. Sorry, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> but look, now it's the alter ego. Now I that's know right. we gotta go corporate now. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, also, you know, uh, during the break, we was talking a little bit, you know, about the mastermind and, and, and all the stuff that we're doing with Rockstar because you know, uh, Norma does do all our PR coaching and everything for most of our uh clients. You know, uh, one of the biggest things in PR these days. People are starting to say, I don't need that no more. I got social media and this type of stuff. Hmm. Is is PR still a good way or is it still necessary for brands to get out there? It absolutely is still necessary for brands to get out there because the media is <laughs> what who's covering your stories. They're oh, yeah. going to tell your stories and they can tell your story sometimes better than you can. And so you cannot get past what social media does is one thing. But the traditional media, the CNNs of the world, oh, yeah. the Essence Black Enterprise, whatever it is, no more rated you, business. You know, so. the, you still <laughs> want that third party credibility. If somebody else is telling your story, and you're not doing it yourself, it has more credibility with the people who are listening or reading, and that's still very important. Yeah. You know, that's that's uh, that's how some of our um, uh oh, as I break your, nah, we good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <Technical. laughs> yeah, really. That's how some of the people have become more, um, some people who are not as, uh, let's put it, let me see how can I put it, um, delicately. That, Rip the that band -aid works, off. Yeah, that, 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 that off. works in, in a way that, um, that social media doesn't quite, quite yeah. do. So yes, traditional media and, and public relations, reputation management, um, business, business marketing, community relations, all these various aspects. It's not just publicity. There's so many other aspects of PR that people need to employ when they are putting together their marketing strategies. And so um, that's some of the things that, that um, you need to incorporate when you're doing your marketing planning. Well, I'm here to give you the hard question. So um, when it comes to actually doing your PR, mm -hmm. um, how much of it is actually planned and strategic? versus hey i just was walking down the street and i did this oh, and all of a sudden the journalist was there and they were like can i do an interview with you no it's all planned and strategic <laughs> no it's, it's planned out i was you know communication director for arby's inc i was you know part of catching public relations we had to you know we had clients like you know the um the olympics uh torch relay um mm -hmm. you know all these major corporations when i was at arby's those things were planned out a year in advance in terms wow. we have to mm. we had to create things like we created but now nah, my attention span able 15 seconds now ain't yeah, whatever I well, said. It's, yeah well once the information is out there you may not hope but the point is you have to create opportunities we mm -hmm. did um the rbi mm -hmm. the, the ones batted in awards were created for arby's when hank aaron was alive huh. it was wow. created by the pr team wow and and that generated millions of impressions all right normal wow. How much of a dream killer are you? How much of a <laughs> there is no Santa Claus are you? When you start seeing some of the press out there and people are like, this is what, when, you know, Kanye did this thing. You're like, that's so plain. It's you know? all plain. It's so, it, it's so hard to watch TV that's when so you do marketing plain. and stuff. Yeah. Like when you be watching, when you do marketing, PR and branding and all this type of stuff, and you be trying to watch TV like, bro, y'all don't see this. Yeah, you know like, an album's about to come out, right? Yeah. How you know that album's about to come out? 
Because that was so plain. Yeah. You know, watch it's this. All <laughs> yep, we have a, something called a calendar <laughs> <laughs> that you figure out what is it trying to um, release or launch, and you, you you put a plan around it, you put a campaign around it. That's but, how it works. But we don't want to give away too many secrets on the on the app. Yeah, but you know. The 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 biggest thing is what is the impact of this type of stuff? Like once this is done right, and and you got that PR out there, and you start to get that media buzz. Because this is a big thing of what we talk about. You know, this is how you stack your brand and this is how you really build it and hold it out there. So what is that impact once you start to get generate that media buzz? What happens? Well, the opportunity is that, you know, more people want to buy your products and services. And that's mm -hmm. really what it is. And, they, and again, if a CNN or, you know, a Headline News or Essence or any of these magazines and even the smaller ones. I mean, it's not yeah. always the ones that are, you know, the traditional ones that you hear, the big ones. It's the smaller ones. There's no such thing as small media anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there just really isn't. You just have to take them all because they're all. Since Google, trust me. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> he wants your name to come up on everything. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So the impact is huge. Oh, yeah. And the more people who know about your products and services through radio and TV mm -hmm. and print, um, the digital media, whatever the media outlets are, you want to make that happen. And, and, and mm -hmm. I'll tell you this. If y'all want to see an example of her work and y'all want to see the power of PR, Go do a Google search on Kevin C. Pride, <laughs> and then you'll see what we're talking about. I promise yeah, you. I ain't even yeah. scared to put it out there. <laughs> Just go do the Kevin well, C. Pride you know, search. It, it helps to have a good story now. You have oh, to yeah. have a real story, and that's what people don't well, see. Well, unfortunately, understand. I had to live through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to have a real story. Well, that's right. And that's something we help you to do. We help you create your actual story. We help you to know how to tell that story properly. What about the cliche, all news is good news, even if it's bad mm -hmm. news? Yeah, well, <laughs> as Trump. That's what they, yeah, exactly. I mean, some people really know how to use that. That's not the kind of stuff that I do. Mm -hmm. Um, but that is definitely there's an art to that mm -hmm. to, to to know how to manipulate the media, mm -hmm. and that's all it is. You're manipulating the media. Now, now let's 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 kind of build this up a little bit because now we got this buzz. Now we 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 got this buzz. How do we get it out there, Jeff? How, how do we get this buzz out here? How do we put this buzz in front of everybody and see so they can see that we got it? Yeah. But how do we display that without looking uh, like I'm egotistical? I'm just bragging. Well, one of the things is you understand who your audience is and where they go. And so when you find out where they go, you then reverse engineer the type of communication that that actual publication has. Woo! And once you start writing it in a way that they like and you built their relationship and they want to put it out, then you get in front of your audience the way you want. But you can't tell the message if you don't know the audience. You know, I mean, you can most people come out and they, they tell the message based on this is who I am. You know, like me, this is who I am. And Look so at they, me. Do what I'm doing. Yeah. Look so at me. Just come Do what I'm doing. And they say, you know, I will be unapologetic. But then you're around <laughs> a bunch of sensitive people. <laughs> you know, so you got to understand that. And then once You'll you turn do that, them off. <laughs> yeah, then you get with a person that's good with crafting messages and that person can gra craft the message. Like you said, no better than you can. Exactly. Because you might yeah. say it, you know, I trust, you know, you know, we've talked to some people behind the scenes and it's like, that's not the same person. <laughs> they can't complete sentences. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That is not the same person. And the message has to be crafted in the way that the media is going to receive it. I've oh, yeah. seen some things that supposedly are supposed to be news releases that are like, what the what? Yeah. I mean, this is not news. Yeah. This is not something. They, all they're going to do is throw that in the garbage. Exactly. But a lot of people don't know actual. Most PR people started off as journalists. So we already know what journalists are looking for in terms of the message and the yeah. story. It has to be a real story. Yeah. Now, I, I'm glad you you said that. So we can kind of go back to something we talked about in the beginning. You know, authenticity. Uh, that is such a big thing this day and age. Folks is tired of fake. How do you get the real out there through PR when you already know I got to somewhat kind of stage this, but I need to keep it true to this person or this is how we need to promote this person's story. Like how do how do how does that that realness meet the system? I mean, you, you the same way. I mean, it's still it's still packaging. You have to know the person that you're dealing with, okay. mm -hmm. and you have to know the, the how far they're going to go. Some people they don't care; they'll do anything and say anything, and oh, yeah. you still have to manage that because it can, you know, come back and bite them in the butt. Yes, from a PR I told standpoint. them, for them be out that line, bro. Yeah, yes. you, you to, can get found out. Yes, we know yes. fake. We we know fakers and phonies. But yeah. see, especially with with social media tying into PR, mm -hmm. you know, like you were saying earlier, you know, people say, "Well, I'm doing just social media." It's actually, they both tie in together. Yes, they do. It's they an go. extension now. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, I know we're in the age where, you know, the earned media and, and um, the clicks and all those kind of things, but there still has to be 
a reputation management component. If, if somebody is, goes viral and says something negative about a, your company or service, oh, yeah. the PR people have to step in and fix that. Oh, man. <laughs> And they Brent, have to fix that. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. It, it, it don't take but one good allegation okay. on you, brother, these days. Yeah. Reputation yeah. management, you know, it costs so much more right. to fix somebody right. than it is to just keep them on the right track. I be trying to tell folks, folks, they, they come to us and they be like, well, how can I hide this? How can I hide this? You can't hide nothing on the internet. If it's out there, bro, somebody can find it. Right. I don't care how, who I call and get them to delete what. We can pull it back up. It's called a way back machine. Yeah. You can oh, pull up man. anything you want to. Yeah. You just got to figure out how to spin it. I mean, you people know, have to, to be aware it. too, again, of how they are presenting themselves. PR is about image, oh, yeah. and your personal image, you can't separate it from your professional image. Details, you know, you, there's so many people who are posting things and looks of themselves on Facebook and their social media. That's like, first of all, your employer is going to see that, and you're probably going to get fired. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, like, you're supposed to be this straight up, just square person out yeah. there. Hey, you are turned up I, on I'm Instagram. the vice president, but I'm up here twerking on TikTok. Yeah, it's just amazing. It's like you know, cannot all separate the it. You cannot. Today, you, can, you have to be very. There's so many times I know for myself that something I've read that just incenses me that I want to put something on Twitter. I can't do it. Hey, you can do it. <laughs> I can't do it because <laughs> as a business person, as a professional, I know that this can come back and bite oh, yeah. me. Clients may see that and say, well, I don't appreciate that. And oh, yeah. no, no, so, no, you can You have to think professionally and, and consequentially about what you might be posting. That's so true. There's been some shows that I haven't been on just because of that. They're like, we want you on the show. We want your oh, opinion. Y'all yeah. don't want my opinion, <laughs> you know, because if I tell you what I really feel professionally, that might not be the right light to put right. out there. Oh, yeah. You have to be very yeah. you have to coach now, yourself now, as what, to what to say. What do y'all yeah. think? Because we got a few more minutes, but what do y'all think <clears throat> in this day and age about you know this whole new thing uh, everybody want to take a stand. You know everybody got opinion and, and there's a company we need to have yeah. an opinion and we need yeah. to stand against this and this type of stuff. But the way I look at it I, I like all green money mm. and I ain't trying to piss mm. nobody off nowhere. <laughs> but you know a lot of these companies they they all right, we're going to side with this person. We're going to side with this. You saw Twitter. They sided with, you know, uh, the Democratic Party to get rid of Trump. But 75 million people voted for him. Don't get you know what I'm saying? And Twitter numbers are starting to dump. Let's See? not go but, there. No, Look, she but, on the PR. She like that. We ain't talking about Trump, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're top. doing this from a different <laughs> that's perspective. Not the top. It's from a different perspective. It's the, the thing of Twitter actually took a hit for doing what they did to Trump. Yes, yeah. Because he really did blow Twitter up. Let's be honest. But, Nobody wasn't paying no attention. But, but let, look but at it this what? Negative stuff. Yeah, but yeah, it was negative. But, but also look at it this it's way, money. too. It's also money because mm. they sell All ads. money is not good money. You've got to understand your position, too, as That's a right. fish. Okay. If you're a whale, you can take that hit and still survive. If okay. you're a small fish, a guppy, still... you can't do it. Like Facebook. Facebook was all pro-Trump till mm -hmm. Trump started falling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then all of a sudden, they just disavowed. They were like, hey, we had nothing to do with that. I don't mess with Zuckerberg anyway. You know, but what I'm saying is they were big enough of a fish that people kind of forgot and was like, yeah. oh, okay, well, we're just going to do this. Well, let's put it like this, y'all. Meta is is more than just a <laughs> yeah yeah Meta's rebranding yeah and, and yeah. branding with pride Ooh. talk about it Ooh. they <laughs> better come I saw how to do it right rebranding <laughs> but yeah I mean when you do you do have to understand that depending on how big you are and how much resources you have yeah. your opinion can basically destroy you oh yeah if if you don't have a way to there's a whole like bunch say, of folks jumped on that Trump wagon and got destroyed well, yeah. It's a whole bunch that. of folks out there. Yeah, that <laughs> Keep biting it. Bite Keep biting it. Like... Keep biting it. But <clears throat> companies do need to understand who their customers are. Oh, yeah. Yep. And, you know, depending on the, co the, co the company, there are a lot of us <laughs> who are, you know, but no, nah, if, 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 if y'all don't hear it, I, I, I don't know how many more times we can say it. Everybody on the show done said it, I don't know how many times. Know your customer. Know your, yeah. know your audience. And these know companies who are taking stands, they know their customers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they're taking this stands. Yep, and, and it's so amazing how many companies don't. And they say, "Well, we're big enough." You know, there's a, a lot of companies that have gone by the wayside because they took a stand, and then all of a sudden it blew up, and they thought their audience was going to back them, and their audience just, you know, oh yeah, just moved well, away. It has to be an authentic stand too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, they, you can't play with it. I mean, like yeah. you know. some some issues, I don't care where you stand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like yesterday we were talking about uh, on Monday when we were talking about sexual harassment. I yeah. got daughters. 
Mm-hmm. I don't play that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I, I stand on, on the side of women on that yeah. one. Yeah. But, you know, some of these type of things, you know, it don't really matter. But I ain't finna get in it best, and, and mess up my business for y'all. But the best best song is You Gotta Know When to Hold Them. Know, know when, when to fold them. That's right. Yeah, know when to walk away, brother. That's right. Yep. That's, that's the true words were never spoken. That's so true. Now, uh, no, just, I, I mean, Miss Miss Stanley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. This alter ego. Come I on know. now. Right? Nella Joy is my alter come, ego. Come, come on now. But uh, if anybody wants to support uh, you, your show, everything that you're doing, you know, this is your time. Just get it all okay. out there. Let everybody know because well, they're asking. I, yeah, I, guys, I hope you guys come out. Um to the Spice House Restaurant Lounge on December 30th. Just um just text me. Um and you can you can I can let you get you get you in there. Uh 678-508-3744. Just text me. And um also just go to normastanley.com to learn more about me. Um I'm singer um uh, is that Twitter? It's singer Nella Joy cuz I can't keep up with all those stuff, social media <laughs> stuff. Um and uh, and on Facebook is Norma Stanley and Nella Joy. So Check me out. That's Nella spelled N E L L A dash J O I. All right. And be real, 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 real professional with y'all's texts. Don't text her no I'll finna tell her. Yeah, I, I, I was I'll about to tell, tell her, her get you another number for the last Texas. time I gave up my phone, telephone <laughs> yeah, yeah. to text me. I got an old drunk white lady oh, at about yeah, two, three o'clock in the morning, brother texting me yeah, some nasty yeah, stuff. Yeah. Okay. No way. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it. Be professional with y'all's texts. <laughs> y'all. Lord have mercy. It has been another, another episode of the No More Ready Business Show. We will, uh, we won't be here this Friday. No. Oh uh, no, we but, got a party. Oh brother, we got a holiday That's extravaganza awesome. December seventeenth on Seventeenth Street. Just look for the lights. I promise you, we're gonna tear it up. And I'm bringing the eggnog. Oh, Woo! Oh. <laughs> and some rum punch. And we will be back on Monday. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> we out. Don't close or share, touch